ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get some sports talk. Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Jalen Rose, the second that DeAndre Hopkins was traded, the first thing you pointed out was this isn't going to make Deshaun Watson happy. And Deshaun Watson might not be in a Texans uniform for the rest of his career. And then he showed up wearing a Miami Dolphins t-shirt. At a because why would you trade away his go-to man? Someone that he trusts a whole lot. No, 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 he trusts Will Fuller too, but he trusts the Hawkins a lot more. That was the guy that helped him out a lot. Because he know he thought up there, Hawkins go get it. But Bill O'Brien let the motion get the best of him and trade away him. So you ain't do right right there of making your franchise quarterback unhappy by doing that. You rub him the wrong way. That's something you don't do. You always want to keep that main guy happy. Do not make him unhappy. And then it's going to be a distant for y'all sales. And when it comes contract time, he might don't want to resign. Unless they do something with Bill O'Brien workout and the latest is he was on a twitch session and he was asked just a simple question who are your favorite teammates that you've ever had and he said you know honey badger and deandre hopkins two players which are no longer on the texans am i reading too much into this by thinking he is just Whoa. subtweeting his team every chance he gets is going to leave the texans you know what's crazy jacoby and you are not constantly texting each other and or talking about the games that are taking place on Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays. And those happen to be two of my favorite players too. Honey Badger mm. plays my favorite position. I've been rooting for him, overcome his turbulence at a couple of different situations to be in a Super Bowl champ. He's always been a Swiss Army Knight. And Hopkins, people do him a disservice by saying one of the best receivers in the game. He's one of the best players in the game. And for all of a sudden, you look up and you just John Watson there on other teams, the organization is going to have to pick. I'm telling you right now. If Bill O'Brien is there, he will not be there long term, Deshaun Watson. Book it. Yes. He has a point. Deshaun Watson will not be there if Bill O'Brien is still there. Who are you going to choose? O'Brien, you don't want to have to start over and bring in a rookie quarterback and you got to start and, and start from scratch and build around him. Is he going to keep Deshaun Watson there so you don't have to do that? It's going to be a tough decision who you want to keep, but I feel like Deshaun Watson, you should keep. You don't want to ever start from scratch. You want to continue building with him because you already got that guy. You don't want to lose that guy. You know, it's been it's been a really puzzling offseason for the Texans. And Bill O'Brien is really on the hot seat because when you think about this is not only do you trade away DeAndre Hopkins, and sometimes I understand you have to trade a player of that caliber for chemistry issues or the relationship is just not working out or it's not. But it's what you get back is really head-scratching. And then you have DeAndre Hopkins, your best player, coming out and saying that you had no relationship with him. Like, if you can't have that if you're Bill O'Brien. So he leaves the team, you don't get enough back for him, and then, on record, DeAndre Hopkins says you have no relationship with him. What do you think that means for Brian's future? And you know that wasn't going to work out. If you, the coach and the player... Don't see eye to eye. It's going to be the type of self destruction between them two. They had no chemistry between them two. They would never talk to each other like that. They don't like each other. So you know it wasn't going to 
be there for long. And Bill O'Brien had the power to get rid of him because he was emotional. He felt like, I don't get along with you. I'm going to have to let you go. I think uh, Bill O'Brien and Matt Patricia have gone to new jobs and have done, in Bill O'Brien's case, moderately well. They've made the playoffs a few years. thought they mm -hmm. were more talented in a couple of seasons than they actually fared. But then all of a sudden you start looking down at their roster and you lose losing players like the ones we just mentioned and Jadavion Clowney. That's not making your squad better. And then I look at Matt Patricia in Detroit and what – about him headed out the door and those two guys as head coaches I think that Patriot privilege ran a little ran a little too much they trying to be the Patriots you can't be them it's only one Patriots it's only one Bill Belichick so you cannot be them you gotta make your own culture you gotta make your own coaching style you can't take the Patriots style and try to bring it to where you at. Bill O'Brien, you let Clowney leave. So you just doing nothing but downgrading. Then you trade away Hawkins. Like, what direction is you heading? Like, you don't know. Mike Patricia, he trying to make the Patriots way. He let Slay go. He let a couple players go, trying to make it his team be the Patriots. That's not going to work. It's only going to be one Patriots. That's up in Foxborough, up in Boston. You can't have two. You got to make your own coaching style. Then with players, I think that's going to affect those squads recruiting. And because all of the players talk, it's Makes sense to make their quarterback any amends. Trust me, it's going to be to part ways with Bill O'Brien. <laughs> you know what? I'm really upset about this quarantine because you need a hug. You know what I mean? I can tell you're really upset about the lines right now. You keep bringing them back up. I you can see your body language. Like, man, when, when we saw this thing is over, I'm just going to give you a big hug, buddy. It's all right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium. Better look over the road, nigga, I gotta be safe.